Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org back with another PHP video tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be briefly introducing you to what object-oriented programming is and also why it's more useful to use. In our case we're going to be programming um, in object-oriented programming in PHP. So object-oriented programming also um, noted as OOP, you've probably seen it more commonly written as OOP, is a different way to program um, within many languages, not just PHP. We've got um, PHP in languages such as C Sharp, um, Java, and uh, just to name a couple. So, why do we use orient object oriented programming? Now, usually in a PHP script you would use a procedural way of coding so you would write your code maybe include a couple of functions uh, from top to bottom now object oriented programming takes use of objects in your program so you will have um, different objects um, inside of your program which will allow you to access them in different ways so if you think about object oriented programming if you think of your whole application or your your code if you like as a whole object you have smaller objects inside that you can deal with for example you may have a bank account we may have a class but we'll go into classes later so uh, if you don't know what a class is just follow along the example you may have a class called bank account and inside this bank account um, this will be relative to say a specific user you might have a balance um, and some more information. Now what happens if you want to automatically update this balance by calling um, this object and telling it what to do? Now inside of this object you will, ha um, you will have, or this class if you like, you will have different methods. So the methods will update things. So we could have a method called update balance or more realistically deposit funds. Um, and then we can have, say, withdraw funds. Um, say the deposit funds will take in a parameter, let's say 10, and will add 10 to our balance. So this is a, a bit of a bad way of representing it, but when you get into your object-oriented pro ob object programming, um, and you start to write the code, you'll under start to understand how actually easy it is once you've got around the basics. So why do we learn um, object-oriented programming? Well, for the reasons I've already described, your code is a lot better organized. Um, object-oriented program has been part of PHP since PHP 5 was released. I'm not sure when that was. I think it was a good, good sort of five or odd years ago. Um, and uh, not a lot of people do actually use it. They still use the same uh, procedural code, um, which I do. I mean, I do a lot of the time as well. Um, however, it's a good practice to get into learn object-oriented PHP and start to get into this practice because you're going to reap the many uh, benefits from this as you can. So like I said, object-oriented programming is a better way to program in general. Um, you have um, just part of the structure of it you like I said you have classes you will then have properties of each class so this could be say uh, like I said with the bank account example earlier the property could be the balance and then you have methods so the methods are things that do things so methods are essentially functions properties are essentially uh, variables that you would store data in however we have lots of other aspects of of object oriented program of object oriented programming sorry that we can look at in order to work out how it's useful for example we have things like the extends keyword uh, you can see that my text editor has highlighted it blue extends creates a new class but adapts and create and takes um, properties and methods from another class so we can have a main top level class but then we can have classes underneath it that extend data from that class. So we can take things like the bank account example and we can extend another class with different information but still using the balance from there. So you'll find that lots of complex um, code, 
uh, written properly will use object oriented programming. I've just shown you a few examples, however, um, we're going to crack on in the next examples of creating the code rather than talking about it. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it, but we're going to get straight in and do everything by example so you can understand where and when OOP is useful.